Welcome back. This is part 5 of the video series. In this video, we are going to prepare all the 16 grids from B1 up to B16 for the spectral analysis. Then after which, then from uh, our previous videos, the spectral blocks map from block 1 up to block 6 then we are going to get the longitude and latitude which we are going to fill up into this table this table 1 the calculated average QU point depth which is ZB subscript beam geothermal gradient DT DZ and the heat flow which is Q the the query depth ZB is obtained from the depth to the top and the top to the center so in this video we are going to be able to fill up these two columns the longitude and what latitude so let's fill them first so what are we going to do let me split the screen then on the left then i have these two and this is block one this is the midpoint this is the latitude this is the longitude so yeah or for block one block two block three block four they're on the same longitude of 11.6 block five block six block 7 block 8 on longitude uh, 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 sorry the on latitude 11.7 why block 1 2 3 4 and latitude 11.6 degree not so now let's do the 1 2 3 4 for the 1 2 3 4 they're on the same longitude latitude of uh 11.6 11.6 11 11.6 but the longitude is 8.1 8.2 8.3 8.4 with the increment of one uh, of increment of 0 0.1 8.1 then 8.2 8.3 then similarly for five to what to eight for five to eight five to eight this time around on latitude eleven point eleven point seven eleven point seven sorry eleven point seven eleven point seven eleven point seven then latitude uh, the, the longitude again is eight point one just like before so I'll copy this ctrl c then paste ctrl v then for block 9 to 12 is 11.8 degree north latitude 9 11.8 11.8 point eight uh, let me see then lastly eleven point eight and the same thing uh, from longitude eight point one to eight point four we copy it down here and then we paste then the last roll thirteen to sixteen latitude eleven point nine degree eleven point nine 11.9 11.9 copy the first four then paste it here so that's it so now we have the close let's save it so we have now filled the two columns the longitude and latitude for the 16 blocks so now we are going to get we are going to prepare the 16 block for the spectral analysis. After spectral analysis, then we are able to get the Z naught, the ZT, ZB, the T, the TZ, and the heat flow. So now let's open OIS montage software. Let me remove this from the project. Remove this one from the project. And let's start with block one. This is block one. So we have to reproject this one into the UTM coordinate, that is XY, under grid and image utilities. Reproject grids, select the grid, 
which is B1. Next, geographic. Now under this, you select this folder. Now we are going to create a folder here. Click on this create bar. We call it blocks X Y U T M X Y. Uh, let me see. Okay, block. Then select this. Then name it B one X Y. Save. Then next. Then now click projected X Y. Okay. Finish. So this is what we have. So this is our B b1 xy they remove this from the project sorry remove this from the project then let's move to b2 this similar process gradient image utilities reproject grids this time I rest let b2 is b2 next okay now it's going to be saved in the same location no need to worry yourself the next and let's rename this one to be b2 and click next projected xy okay click finish now we have b2 then let's remove this b2 more project then b3 similar process utilities reprojected grid file then we select B3. Next. Okay. B3. Projected. Okay. Click finish. Then remove from the project. Then B4. We are before we click this follow the same process so let me do it
so i think that was a so i didn't include the 10 now this is 10 uh this is block 10 so let's reproject it so let's reproject this grid project grid select block 10 next okay then name it 10 then click projected okay then click finish now, now you can see we have all the 16 blocks now being projected in UTM coordinate XY from B10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have all these uh, all these blocks being projected. So in the next video, we are going to carry out the spectral analysis on each one of these blocks. So let's save the project. So on the window, let's close all. So we have nothing remain. We remove this from the project and click file, project, save. So I think that's all for this video. We're able to get the two the, the longitude and latitude for each of the blocks, which is, which is the midpoint. And in the previous video, we are also able to get the spectral blocks map, the regional map. Uh, we where we got the regional train this x then uh, this value y plus this in nano tesla where x and y are in geographic coordinate degrees and this is the residual and then finally this is the tmi and also we know that each of the block size from here to here you know is 55 kilometers by 20 kilometers each of the block we use is 22 by 22 kilometers so that's all for this video. See you in the next video.